This is the bypass kit I installed in my trailer. It's a one valve, um, one check valve, and an adapter. And it wasn't perfect for mine, but it worked. It was 20 bucks, as I remember. And this is at Camper's World, in case you can't tell by the the price sticker. It's club price, $16.77. But uh, you can see it's got the valve, it's got a, a one-way valve, and then the adapter to change the hose. And this is what it looks like when you're done. So that's the bypass system. I've taken all the cushions off the couch, or the bed as it normally is. a, And underneath, all that stuff are the boards for one storage and one storage of the water system. Cold water tank, that big white tank is a cold water tank, and then the hot water tank, which is the foam covered, um, styrofoam covered tank in the back. Cold water comes in from the bottom, like most hot water tanks, and the hot water goes out from the top. The cold water goes in from the bottom and the hot water comes out from the top. On my tank I have a drain uh, valve that's outside on the bottom of the A-liner and I'm going to have to um, disconnect this and not use it. The first thing to do of course is to disconnect all your lines and of course they're going to leak everywhere so make sure you have a towel handy. Um, most of them are those thumb uh, nuts that you can just put your grab real tight if you need a rag to help with torque that might help or if uh, you're if it's really tough they are been on there a while you can use um, pair of channel locks just be careful not to break them because you don't want to have to replace all those hoses um, anything you take off make sure you save um, and use you're going to use it so you want to save everything I'm taking the connector off the top of the hot water tank because I'm going to put in a one-way valve so that only hot water can come out of the tank and when we put the bypass valve in I won't have to worry about cold water going in the top of the tank. If you didn't have this one-way valve at the top um, when you switch the the, the system I'm using is a one valve bypass system, so you got to keep the water from going back in the tank at the top. Not that it would really have any place to go. Um, you might pressurize the tank trying to force water in it, but um, this just keeps it so it goes one way. It doesn't hurt the tank. It's a good way to hook everything up. Here's the valve. The uh, bypass valve goes on the bottom again and as you can see when it's going through that's open and when you turn it up towards the hose that's the bypass hose then it's on bypass and it has uh, indications it has a little C on it that means your cold water line goes there quite a few people I've talked to have put them on backwards <laughs> And that's kind of funny. You get you learn how to do it a couple of times if you put it on backwards. Um, but um, my cold water was too short because um, it had that uh, drain on it and it had that T connector at the bottom. So that had uh, too short, so I had to buy an extra piece of line which I just got at the hardware store it's a toilet tank um, line and I had to get a, an adapter for it this little adapter just makes it from the little mini uh, connection it has to a full size it's regular thread and then and I use the um, top adapter from the top of the tank 
um, to connect these two together because um, you need a, a male threaded connector to make that longer. So that's what I used that for, um, which was lucky. I, if it had been long enough, I probably wouldn't have needed it at all. But um, make sure that's good and tight in there because that's probably one of the weaker spots with that additional piece of pipe there. If you need that, you might not need that, of course. But um, I did get this all apart and find out that uh, I needed it and had to run to the hardware store. This is this is the third time I've done this. The, so it's it. I make it look easy. It's not quite as easy, but it's not hard at all. Um, I didn't do it three times for fun, but it wasn't any big deal. I didn't have any problem taking it apart and putting it back together as I found it so that you guys could learn how to do it. So I screw that in there, hand tight to begin with, and uh, make sure everything lines up and everything's going to fit. To connect the bottom hose, um, this has a, uh, a compression fitting connector, and there's a compression fitting on both sides, so make sure they're in there. They do fall out sometimes, and um, that just screws on the bottom of the tank. Uh, since the tank is steel, it's pretty rusty, so those connectors that come out of the tank don't come out very easy. So the uh, cold water in is a male out uh, threaded piece that sticks out and uh, the top hot is female so you have to screw into that so not sure if that's a standard it probably is but something to consider then we're going to put in the t's the two t's are what make the bypass a bypass instead of going to the tank it goes um, up at the valve and back out the pipe the hot water pipe or line. And there's the bypass hose. And uh, it helps if you line these up. Um, the first time I did it, I had the um, connection threads lined up in the wrong direction, and the, the valve was upside down, and I couldn't really see it or hardly get it to turn on, so I had to take it off. I'd take it off and do it again. And <laughs> um, so make sure you're, you know, don't don't over torque, but um, you can move those around quite a bit to get them so they go in the right direction. So the the uh, bypass valve is actually where you can see it and see what position it's pointing in. Because if it's on the underside of the lines, you won't be able to see the little indicator saying whether it's up or down. Most things can be tightened with by hand if you've got a good grip, though it doesn't hurt to put a wrench on it and just snug it up a little bit. Um, the things going into the tank, I did all by hand because I kind of know what the feel is and I didn't want to over torque. And um, I was afraid that I was going to put them in a direction I couldn't use them. So, but the, um, the water lines connections, I snug them up pretty good. They're compression and uh, they, it doesn't hurt them to put a little extra snugness on them. They, they only take a couple of turns, and they're, they're in there good. But really, we're kind of done. The only thing we have to do is put in the hot water line. And because this has that little hose clamp on it, um, that swivels around pretty well without uh, worrying about leakage. As you can see there, it just swivels up. And then I check some of the connections to make sure they're tight, clean up, and uh, we're done. 
And really, the whole job only took me about 45 minutes, um, even with the filming. That's the bypass on non-bypass, and that's on bypass. So you can get a good look. The finished job. Don't leave your tools. <laughs> I almost left that wrench there. I had to go back and get him. And there's the bypass valve in bypass. <laughs>